All right, another new cross epic ride line, so let's begin. But first, cards for the last few days. So our only card of the day is a double rare, a bent robust, which is a grade three with 13 power and the skillers. Auto, when placed on rear guard, cost count plus one, search your deck for one set order card and reveal it. And if your order zone has the same card name as that card, you put it to your hand and of course shuffle your deck. Yep, a generic order card searcher for brand gate, which works well in pretty much any brand gate deck that is not prison. Anyway, to the second skill where auto rear guard when this card attacks, choose two set orders with the same name from your order zone. If you've chosen two, this card gets was tanky power to end that battle. So it's generic, and depending on the deck, you will have duplicate set orders, and many brand gate decks will indeed do. At least if you're not prison anyway. Overall, just a nice card that you could run in any brand gate deck that you wish. And now for the Tuesday stream, we got the Shoujo Doji ride line. Here's the starter. Can't quick sake self rogue Shoujo Doji. Moving on. In which we go to Sakura Romance Stealth Rogue Shoujo Doji, which is a grade one way key power with the skill auto. When placed on Vanguard, look at top five cards deck. Choose up to two normal units with stealth in their name. Reveal them. Put one to your soul and bind the remaining card. In which we go to the second skill where Ak Bind Zone. If you have a grade one or greater Vanguard with stealth, cost soul blast one, call this to rear guard. And yes, some of the stealth units will focus around your own bind zone along with your opponent. So that is actually very helpful. And a nice other addition is that because it says any stealth unit as an archetype, you got some old support that has stealth in the name. So this actually can work well with some old cards. And I mean mainly for the soul charging, but there's also more reasons later. And then we go to the grade 2 with 10k power, which is World Shaper Stealth Rogue Shoujo Doji, which has the exact same skill as the grade 1. The second skill is the same exact thing, except that if you have a grade 2 or a higher stealth vanguard. Not much to say other than it's just basically grade lock difference, which I do get why. But if you do buy a copy of itself like the grade 1, you do get an extra attack which can be nice pressure because you still get a soul and then you can just soul blast that out and then just call another one. Also forgot to mention with the grade 1, you can bind this as a main target. And then we go to the grade 3 with 13 power, which is World Shaper Stealth Rogue Shoujo Doji. The skill is, act vanguard once per turn cost, bind 2 cards with stealth in their name from your soul and bind all the chosen cards in the rear guard circle and then at the end of the turn your opponent puts all those cards to their hand i mean your opponent gets a temporary bind on the rear guard which can be okay depending against the matchup but you are practically soul blasting two cards for one rear guard and another thing is that your opponent gets to keep all the cards that they lost from that one circle so the overdress stuff yeah they still get to keep everything including the original dress that's the only thing, but it is good non-targeting removal, you could say. But anyway, second skill. Auto Vanguard. When this card attacks a Vanguard, cost count boss one. Put two of your rear guards into your soul. Choose one stealth card from your bind zone and call it to rear guard. And your opponent's Vanguard is greater or greater. That called unit gets with 10k power to the end of turn. So basically guarantees your fourth attack. It's nice that you're putting more stealth in soul to feel its first skill, and you might have some soul skills later on. And because it says stealth or an archetype, you do have old stealth support for Dragon Empire that you can use for this skill. But will I say completely worth it? Probably not exactly. But we'll see you later on with more support. And into some support cards, our first card is Stealth Fiend Colmain. Grade 1, AK Power and the skills. Auto when placed on rear guard from hand, cost count plus 1, choose one of your opponent's cards in the bind zone, and you can put that to the bottom deck. If you did not put a card, choose one stealth card with grade less than or equal to your own vanguard from your bind zone, and call it to rear guard. What's nice is that this card is pretty generic, other than the call stealth part, but forcing your opponent to lose that rear guard that you bound is actually pretty nice. It feels like new Batama again. But adding that if you couldn't do it and being able to call any stealth card, you can technically put a stealth engine in. I'm just saying, you can do that. Next, Stealth Dragon Joku Mesu Arcs, which is a grade 2 with 10k power and the skills. Auto, when placed on rear guard from bind zone, this card gets with 5k power and in turn. Shoujo Doji, or the grade 1 that we just revealed. But the second skill, auto rear guard, when this card attacks, costs Soul Blast 1. Choose a card from your opponent's bind zone and put it to the bottom of the deck. 15k beater and another way to remove more cards from your opponent's rear guards or from the bind zone basically. Finally, to a dual arc type support for Tamiura and Shoujo Doji, we got Stealth Dragon Unprecedent. Grade 3, 30 power in the skills. Auto, when placed on rear guard by card ability, if your vanguard is Tamiura or Shoujo Doji, cost Soul Blast 1 and draw a card. Since it has stealth in the name, you can always put this as stealth engine for Tamiura, and I'm pretty sure Tamiura does have some stealth cards. For Shoujo Doji, this is actually a pretty good obvious card to use. Especially for the second skill where count rear guard. If two or more cards were put from 
from Yurika to Soul this turn. Tamiura and Shaja Doji skill to put stuff to Soul, or in Tamiura's case, the dolls. This card gets plus 10k power, 23k beater for either deck, and the second skill is generic, but I'm pretty sure you're not going to be using it for any other decks but for the Tamiura or Shoujo Doji. Either way, it's a nice, decent card to use for those respective decks. And considering that they also did this for Art and Eva, I do hope to see more cross epic stuff to be like this as well, where we can actually mix and match archetypes with engines. Cool with lore reasons too. Finally, here's the reveal of the Messiah Ride line. Of course, we got Nail Messiah, a Sleep Messiah, to Awakening Messiah, and the cover card of Alter Ego Messiah. So that's it for the Shinjo Doji ride line. What do you guys think of it? Honestly, nothing really super special right now. In fact, I prefer our site with Eva because at least that one actually has more cards that you can work well with each other compared to this one with Tamiora. And either way, it's not too exciting for me so far. But it is the introduction, so I'm not expecting much. What I'm more excited for is Messiah. Yes, it's more nostalgia pandering technically, but Messiah is Messiah and I like Messiah. Yes, I do wish that Bushy does calm down with this quite a bit now because it is getting a little bit overboard but it seems like it's every three sets for one which is fine in my book it's a nice break set you could say and overdress does focus around a lot of lore so it kind of makes sense but i do like to calm it down quite a bit but anyway that's all i have to say and see you all next time